Welcome back to the Sacristy of the Church of St. Agnes. I'm Father Mark Moriarty, and it's my privilege to be with you today. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. When Mary came to where Jesus was and saw him, she fell at his feet and said to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping and the Jews who had come with her weeping, he became perturbed and deeply troubled and said, Where have you laid him? They said to him, Sir, come and see. And Jesus wept. Jesus wept is the shortest verse in the scriptures. And it shows the full humanity of Christ. Both, of course, God and human. He, like us, mourned the death of his friend as we would mourn the death of our friends and loved ones. Lazarus had died, and as he came to the tomb, he himself was filled with great emotion. Now, we don't know exactly when the color black was associated with mourning, but we do know it became more of the formal color of business and courts, and in particular, the royal courts, starting in the Spanish Empire in the 1500s. But nonetheless, this color has meant for hundreds and hundreds of years, the mourning of our own hearts, weeping, sorrowing, the sense of loss. Black is also the color of diocesan clergy. Those clergy that are often called secular clergy, those living within the world, not the ones that would be called religious. They usually have some kind of habit that usually carries a specific uh, color scheme. Different orders have different color schemes. But diocesan priests will wear black clerics. And black clerics signify a kind of dying to the world. We're fully investing in the life to come, and we're saying we're not going to put all of our cares into this world, and so a kind of death to this world. It also signifies a kind of poverty, since by tradition, the color black was the easiest color to dye. You didn't need to search far and wide to collect exotic plants in order to make the color black. It was more readily available with various nuts and barks and things that had tannin that would stain uh, various types of wool and other material, cotton, uh, a dark color. Here we have before us two vestments, the Roman vestment on the right with a beautiful brocade. And also notice that the galoon is more of a rich gold color. And then we have the Gothic vestment to the left. And if you look carefully, you'll notice that this material is called watered silk. It is called watered because it has that sense of waviness to it. This is a very fitting emblem to have on this Gothic chasuble, especially a black uh, Gothic chasuble, because on it we have the chi and the rho standing for Christ, the first two letters of his name in Greek, and also, of course, the fact that he is the alpha and the omega. He is the beginning and the end. In other words, he was the very beginning of our life, the very cause of our existence, he gave us new life, and he is our ultimate goal, our ultimate end. And so even with our death, our end in this world, it does not need to be our definitive end, because our ultimate purpose and end is to be rejoicing in heaven with all the saints and the angels, giving thanks to Almighty God forever. Whether a Gothic or a Rome investment, Black is used to signify mourning. Traditionally, it is worn on All Souls Day, although purple can also be worn on that day as well. It is the color that for eons has been worn for funerals, for requ requiem masses, masses that are named after, may that person rest in peace. 
black itself also gives us a hint that there is a kind of darkness. Not so much the darkness of punishment and sin, although, remember that is one of the possible ends for us if we do not follow God's holy will. Black also signifies the idea of the unknown. And the unknown insofar as we will not know with certainty where our loved ones are after they die. Very few are actually canonized saints, where the church declares definitively that these souls have lived holy lives and have been granted entrance into heaven. But so many of our loved ones, we don't definitively know. And black also signifies that sense of unknowing, that sense of not knowing what their ultimate fate has been. However, we have a sense of hope. If you notice these vestments lined with gold or the main orphrey being gold, we know there's a great sense of hope because Jesus Christ, he is the one who is the light. There is no shadow within his light. If we give ourselves to him, if we have trust, we can trust in his resurrection to new life and trust that our faith and our loyalty to him will allow us an opportunity to rise to new life. And in fact, that is why Jesus himself, when he confronts Martha, the other sister of Lazarus, Martha says, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise. Martha said to him, I know he will rise in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? I'm hoping that we can all answer with Martha. Yes, Lord, I have come to believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. Thank you for joining us today and watching our video. I hope to see you soon sometime at the Church of St. Agnes.